Up for sale from Redvale RV is this fresh arrival 2008 Luna Stella two berth wide body caravan. Now this caravan's ready to hit the road for the new owner. We've just had it through our workshop and we've done a full service on it to make sure everything's working as it should be. Make sure that everything is nice and dry and solid and all the appliances are working as they should be. Now this caravan comes with over $5,000 worth of accessories. The previous owners have looked after this caravan really well. This is ready to hit the road. It's had a new warrant of fitness and registration. We've just had it through our workshop and we've done a full service on it to make sure everything is working as it should be and that it's nice and dry and solid. It's had a new electrical cert and LPG cert. It comes with power lead, nine kilo LPG bottle, and it is fully self-contained for two people. It comes with both fresh and grey water tanks. You can see them outside there. And it also comes in that box with a brand new full cover. So one of those covers is about $500. So it comes with that as well. The previous owner in the last six months has just had a new set of carpets installed in it. Now they are loose fit carpets, so you can remove them if you don't want carpets in it and you're left with the lovely vinyl floors. It is loaded with solar. It's got over 200 watts of solar on it and a new deep cycle battery. So essentially this is off grid ready. It's also fitted with the added benefits of motor movers. This caravan can drive itself. So if you've got a tight driveway or you're not very good at reversing, you can unhitch this caravan from your tow vehicle and with the use of a remote control, this caravan can drive itself around, do a 360, etc., and park itself. Now externally, this is the wide body model. So unlike most two berths, this caravan is 2.25 meters wide, which gives you a big sense of space inside. Yet it's only about five and a half meters long. So it's super easy to park and very maneuverable. Weighing under 1,000 kilo, it's also super light to tow. Most vehicles can comfortably tow it. It is fitted with trailer brakes and it is using the Elko anti-sway tow hitch here. So it does require a 50 mil high rise tow ball, which we can fit and supply here at the yard if you do not have one of those. Now the purpose of this video is I'm going to go around the caravan end to end, I'm going to point out any marks that it might have, anything that anybody might need to know before coming here to our site in Redvale to view it in person. We of course can arrange finance for anybody who needs it and we do sell caravans on behalf so if you've got a caravan or a motorhome that you want to get rid of jump onto our website and click on the on behalf sales tab www.redvalerv.com. Now We'll go around the outside. I'll start on the outside. I'm going to point any marks out. Now this caravan has been extremely well looked after, so there's actually very little to point out. We'll start at the front end here. The front plastics are in lovely orders. So are the windows. It would have once upon a time said Stella up there, nice and bright, but the sun has faded the graphics there. We're going down to this side here. This is a nice straight side there. There might be a couple of minor pin dents, a little bit of sun discoloration on our plastics. We do have faded graphics there, but really nothing of note. Chassis wise, it is solid as under there. This chassis is in lovely order, so was the floor. Good condition with the tyres, plenty of tread on them, and there's your motor mover that's tucked under there. We're going to come round to the entry side. Once again, the really only thing of note is a couple of uh, stone chips, and the graphics are faded. The windows are in lovely condition. Down here at the bottom, we do have some chips out of the paintwork along there. Couple of little scuffs there would have been. We've got some faded graphics there. If you're really fussy, we do know a crowd that can um, redo your graphics, and they are relatively cheap. I'm going to come round to the back side of the caravan. Really good order here. Plastics are in lovely order. Windows are in great condition as well. And see that being the wide body, look how that is a nice wide caravan. We're going to step on inside before we do that. Got all of our paperwork, we've got a user manual and things like that in the door, up to our latest certs and things like that. 
just show you down here, we've got all of our tools, power lead, and our water tanks there as well. Now step on it, it's got brand new carpets. Now that is a loose fit carpet mat. If you lift that up, we've got really nice vinyl floors underneath there. This caravan has also been fully reupholstered. New curtains and couch cushions, so they are in beautiful condition. This is a very tidy caravan for its age. Of course it is not new, so it does have some marks here and there, as to be expected. But all in all, lovely order. Now this is quite a rare layout. It does have the large L-shape rear kitchen, so if you are into your cooking and like a bit of extra bench space, this is the two-berth caravan for you. Countertops in good order. They've got a sink with your strainer there as well. Lovely wood grain panelling. Good size gas oven and three burner gas hob there. Lots of storage above and below. In this back corner here, we've got our shower and toilet, which I'm going to get to shortly. We're going to swing around to the front. We've got loads of storage. That silver box, box down there, that is our two-way room heating system. This caravan can heat itself using LPG or mains power. The lighting is provided by 12 volts or mains power, whatever you're attached to. In the back of this cupboard here, I'll just show you. Got a solar charge controller in here, working away. Now tucked under that front seat there, there is a onboard hot water heating system that runs off 12 volts, oh sorry, runs off 230 volts or LPG. Got an alcohol cabinet up here. Got your wine flute holders up there and your wine bottle holders in behind that. Here is our remote control to drive it round. Another good bench top there and it's in good order down to our three-way fridge. Now this fridge here runs off 12 volt, 230 volt, or LPG, whatever you require. Now the front living area here, this can easily be used as two single beds, or there are slats that pull out from there that go a whole way along there. You pull the squabs down and you actually sleep that way across and you can make yourself a double bed. But the job the upholsterer has done on these seats is absolutely spectacular. They're lovely, lovely seats. Each window is fitted with blackout blind and fly screen. And they're all in working order. This caravan is completely insulated. So super warm to stay in over winter. All of the windows are also double glazed. Above us here, we've got a big skylight. I've just got the blind closed because it's very glary today. That lets a lot of heat out in, um, those, on those hot summer's days. All right, a couple of minor marks here and there. I'll just show you up here uh, where screws used to be once upon a time. They must have had a key hook there. There's very, very minor wear and tear throughout the caravan. But for a 2008, this is certainly above average condition-wise. So if you want to come have a look at this caravan here at our yard in Redvale, we are open by appointment only. Jump online to redvalerv.com. Click on the contact us tab and get in touch. Phone or email, we're happy to help. Thank you so much for watching.